Hi there, Dustin Harris, the appraiser coach. Uh, just wanted to show you a really quick trick to double check your measurements for a bay window. I've showed you before how to do the rise and run feature. Now I carry a protractor with me, but I'll be honest with you, I don't use it very often. I find it to be cumbersome, especially when you're up against brick or stucco that you know may make that angle slightly off. There's a fast and easy way, it may not be completely and totally accurate, but it's really darn close and it'll probably well fit within your standards, whether you use ANSI or some other standards uh, as your measuring standards. Um, and it's the rise and run feature. And basically what it means is, is you first measure this wall here and you want to know how far, what this angle is. Now, somebody would look at it and say, well, that's a 45. Well, maybe, maybe it's a 50, maybe it's a 40, maybe it's something close to a 45, but it may not be exactly what you think it is just eyeballing it. One thing that you can do is you can measure how far out from the wall this wall comes and also how far back it comes and then use the rise and run feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my Visto laser measure straight against where this wall is and do a quick measurement. And I've got one and a half. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to abut it eyeballing right where the wall comes back and I'm going to measure it and it's one. So what I would do on my sketch is I would come out one from the wall as if it were a right angle but I'm not going to anchor it and then I'm going to shoot this way one and a half and that point I'm going to anchor it and it will give me what I need as far as the angle goes. And then I can measure of course this wall here and then I can measure this wall here. But in order to double check what I'm looking at, a really cool thing you can do is then bring your cursor back to this starting point on your sketch. Not anchoring it, just bring it back to where you're starting here, and then you stand here and shoot to that far wall, and then you measure across to make sure that everything matches up. That way you know that you've got a good angle. Let me repeat what I'm talking about here. There's a chance that I could be wrong. Remember, I'm just eyeballing things here, okay? And I, and I mentioned earlier, you know, it may not be exactly. What if it's 1.6 instead of 1.5 as far as the, the, uh, the, the amount or distance that it goes in from here, okay? That could make this angle off. And if this is a long wall, well, you've got a problem down the road. Well. You can double check yourself by measuring the entire wall without the bay. If I measure straight to that other corner and it doesn't match up with what I've already measured, then I know I've got a problem and I've got to go back and remeasure that bay. It's just a way to double check because when you're doing things by eyeball, chances are you're going to get it right. There is a chance you'll get it wrong. So always double check yourself because that could make a big difference in your square footage if you happen to get one angle incorrect. We'll see you next time.